It is very easy this time of year to underestimate the power of the sun, especially in the wake of the recently cooler temper uh, days that we've had. We've had several days in the 50s here, uh, the, but that streak was broken and we can thank the strong uh, mid October sun for doing just that. We overcame low temperatures that had fallen down into the lower 30s across most of the region and still managed to put together a high temperature in the lower to middle 60s. Pretty impressive accomplishment. And again, it's all the, thanks to the sunshine and uh, to a lesser extent, the wind shift to the west. Right now, our temperature decline has gotten underway. It will be a rapid decline at first, but I do think that, especially as we get some clouds around here later on this evening, that temperature decline should level off and we should uh, only see temperatures fall into the 40s. The wind is shifting to the southwest. That's another reason we're not going nearly as cool as we were uh, last night and early this morning. Well, here's the uh, satellite radar picture, and there's a couple features that are worth noting. A little bit of cloudiness working through portions of Wisconsin and also into uh, eastern Iowa, but this is the more noticeable feature with the, a cold front extending into the Dakotas. Behind that, the area of low pressure is rotating, so what that means for us is we've got a couple rounds of showers uh, likely here. Not tonight, though. We'll be generally quiet with increasing clouds down to 42 for an overnight low. Lots of cloudiness tomorrow, but a southerly wind will blow, and so that should mean our temperatures uh, should reach the middle and upper 60s, which is uh, certainly some good news. There you see a couple showers in the afternoon with the cold front. Again, not a big deal. And then we get on the back side of that circulation, and you could see some wraparound showers overnight into uh, earlier Thursday morning, and that could be the heavier of the two rounds of showers and maybe even the more widespread. From there on out, just spotty activity is expected on our Thursday. Cooler temperatures as winds lock back in out of the northwest, and then a clear sky takes us into Friday. Lots of sunshine on Friday. Maybe a few clouds will billow in the afternoon and perhaps a couple of showers. Now, we'll warm up tomorrow, but then we'll see a chunk of cool air come our way here beginning on Thursday and taking us through the weekend. This is not the mother load of cool air. It'll send temperatures closer to normal, maybe just a hair below. But while that's here for the weekend, there are signs that we're going to start to see another surge of warmth arrive here into the early and middle stages of next week. And what that likely spells for us is a, a run of temperatures in the 70s and a perhaps a rather lengthy spell of above normal temperatures. Tomorrow sees temperatures reach uh, the middle and upper 60s. They've got us at 68 when all is said and done. Again, the rain later at night, and it's far from guaranteed. We'll put the chances at 50-50. Uh, showers a good bet, mainly very early in the day Thursday. Uh, high 62, maybe a sprinkle on Friday, not a big deal. Weekend looks good. And uh, Monday, Tuesday look good as well. Uh, as far as these rainfall chances, this is could, these are kind of the, the ones that we call well-timed because most of the activity will happen uh, when the sun's down tomorrow. So we're not going to be outside anyways. Most of the activity Thursday will be before the sun even comes up. So Ooh, timing. Yeah, timing yes. is everything. And so it's nice that we get the beneficial rain, but it doesn't uh, you know really interrupt our plans all that yeah, much. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Still ahead tonight, kindergartens in Oregon take a special trip to a local senior living community as part of an initiative to strengthen community connections. And it's a warning for DeKalb police to drivers ahead of Halloween this year to make sure everyone is safe. Six stops at six is next.